Тайтл Тьюзный. Через, через, через все. Поехали. Да, мистер Льюис. Понеслась. Whoa, 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 have a lot of people in the chat. Awesome. the guest what's up man okay. all right so let's see I mean even in a good game you always can improve right I know that the bishop b5 is correct. This is the reason why bishop d6 is probably not that great. So, take, take. Yeah, okay, so c5 is wrong, but you see it's still advantage to white, right? And the interesting thing is after b8, you don't play... Oh, you can just castle. And if it be two. Basically, you grab the pawns, right? And you prevent black development, so the difference in these pawns and this weakness is in vice favor. And the black plays a5. Castles, bishop. a6. Queen d1, a4, rook c3, 
All right, so that's how white, that's how black probably defends here. Six ninety one, followed by ninety three, right? So. Okay. Five ninety three. Small advantage wise. All right. So, um, but he plays c five, queen a three, ninety seven, rook c one, queen g six, c six. Correct. So queen c six. So the only thing here is that I played queen c three, which is probably not that great. Rook f one immediately, and if bishop b seven. And e4. Yeah, this is much better. Because you have knight c4 now attacking both pawns. Queen c7, knight d6, or even knight b6, yeah. Just pure pawn, clear cut pawn, clear advantage to white. Because after my queen c3 of 6, it's not so clear. See, knight b8, and then he has some, some moves. Let's see what happens if he plays a4. My idea was to play e4, but I like this knight h4 move. And the idea is that maybe white wants to play f4. Yeah, f4 is very interesting. Basically trying to get to these pawns, right? e4 doesn't look right, but it's still pretty viable. Yeah, but I was, I was thinking about the e4 actually. I was going for this, for this line. And then... Queen d5 I like, there should be a 7, then knight c4. Yeah, but this is uh, not so clear. And if I just play b4, then... And I thought black can just do this, and then bishop a6, b4, bishop b5, but probably not enough. Knight b3, and knight goes here. This should be better for white, of course. I be here, nice c6, b1, one, push b2, b5. Wow. Alright, so advantage white, I guess. Okay. Bishop is obviously winning. Ну на самом деле ты мой обучаешься, когда играешь с великими игроками. So by playing a lot of games with Carpo, for example, I've learned so much by playing him, so many games. In so many games, there is a particular game in particular where in Nimzu he outplayed me. I think it was one of the Linaris tournaments. He outplayed me. Uh, it took him 50 moves, but he completely outplayed me. So when you play guys like that a lot, you learn very much. Uh, thanks in English and Russian. Yes, that is true, Dillman. Who outplayed me? Well, in Lee Chess event, I got outplayed uh, by Demchenka, right? But today, I lost the game. I blundered. Basically, I blundered. Yeah. But some games I lose fair and square. No. That's not true. Oh yeah, there was this, um, that, the second game that I lost to that was in that uh, crazy slough uh, line, yeah? And then at the end he blundered the queen. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, he could have made it me, so yeah, so that game he outplayed me. But the, 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 the so many blunders, uh, both him and me, it was unbelievable. It, you won't believe that the GMs played this game if you have been shown the game. Um, 
Yes, but that's the point. You, when you play such people, you learn. If you play regular GMs, you don't learn. But if you play super, the very top guys, their thinking is different, right? You learn from them. So that is why it is hugely important for you just to improve by playing stronger opponents all the time. So this Indian kid, uh, he qualified today, right? Timofey, I know this guy. Actually, he plays, okay. Close. Bravian. Hey, I'm Potato. Interesting. Who is this Potato? International. I think this is equal, but of course white is extremely solid. I'm basically preparing the exchange, the massive trades that will come later, right?
knight f4. Gf uh, take on f5 and then e4. And you capture peace, but uh, white king is completely busted. Yeah, she's doing correct. She's playing well. Well, there was no blunder there, come on, guys. I don't think G4 works. I mean, white played very passively here. See, white is better according to the computer. Bishop D3 was good, but this is... Alright, let's see this. Rook E1, Queen E7. The computer likes white positions in this case, so she's doing something well. But see, the computer doesn't understand King's Indian. Um, see, still, huge advantage for white after knight g3, right? I think, personally, he is uh, overvaluating it. I think it's equal. So, this is one of those positions where the computer is not that good. So, you guys were talking about g4. g4 is not good. See how it is minus 3 immediately? I'll, basically, I, I didn't see knight d4, but I think knight f4 is much easier. Then you just grab the spawn. Then everything is hanging. Knight, bishop, rook, right, and if knight g3, then you can basically just play e4, and then you get your piece back, and then you, you get interest. 92, right, take this. Basically, basically it's winning. Then just extra exchange. Right, so, uh, yeah, so rook e2 was bad, and knight g3, so remember this move, all right, because you... Don't worry about that, because you can even take this, and it's equal, right? So black needs to maintain this knight on f5, so I have to play something like knight g8, and this is pretty much equal. Because you just, you need to do this, and then black cannot really improve, because g5, the moment I play g5, you, you capture on the f5, right? So, um, I don't know, looks looks pretty equal. So the computer plays knight f7, so I can play knight f6 back, but... Uh, I don't know, you can play a3 probably. So if knight f6, bishop d3. 
knight h7 okay but then what right h5 bishop h6 or something let's check it out all right okay but let's 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 okay not give a black a pawn right so knight f5 again bishop e4 and if you just play b4 just try to open the file here right so the computer thinks after b5 black is actually okay now yeah so you got you gotta watch out for white when see the spawn structure still is pretty good for for white all these trades they're good because um white gets extra stuff right see it's advantage uh, advantage white though it is very close to equal now because black uh, gets back the spawn on b5 and then it's about equal this is about equal right i'm curious about rook h4 king g8 yeah this is uh, this if this is equal it's still very sharp very very sharp all right so that's how uh why should play this position because the way she played it she got killed uh, very slowly so let's see any interesting games um Grishuk playing second black in a row no that's 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 i think was wrong yeah what's going on in this round two yes all right so all the top players they are at the top hey what's up yeah it was very close um i mean because white had a very solid position right the undisputed So it's no longer London, but it's more like uh, Schlechter, yeah, what I play. Probably gonna close the window because it's so freaking noisy. And of course, I get the lack of air, but what can you do?
like my bishop to be honest. Let's keep my bishop alive. So he takes away some interesting squares from black. <laughs> I mean, white should be better, but it's not clear. It's not clear cut. Oh, time. My god, I forgot about the time. Keep forgetting about the time. He's tied up. He, you are tied up, man. There should be 494. Very lucky to have that. But otherwise, you just lose the pawn. Okay, interesting if my calculation was correct. Let's check it out. So rook b3, knight d7, bishop h2, b6. Oh, bishop c7. Oh, and that I missed. This is much simpler. This is much simpler. 97% accuracy from this guy. All right. 
So bishop c7 was um, winning a pawn, yeah. Knight d2. He finds the only move, rook c8. Then he, yeah, he should, should, should have played c5, but then he fixes his pawn structure. So b5, take, take. And knight f6. Rook b8, rook d8, rook bb8. Yeah, probably. Uh, b8. a4, and then after bishop e5, I'm better, yeah? Yeah, but okay, now he is lost. Yeah, knight c3 probably, alright, king e2, king g6. Yeah, just, you know, this is much easier. Take, take, and knight c3, and if rook a3, then king d3, and rook a2. This is, this is much more, much cleaner, much cleaner. Because what I did is like, I'm not sure if this is winning actually. He should have played king f5, of course, then, and then king e4. I don't know if this is winning. I, I, I suspect that this might be not winning. See, because his king is so freaking active. So I have to play something like d5 some point and hope that this endgame is winning. But maybe, you know, good chances for white to win this. I mean, this should be winning, right? But it might be not. Hmm. King b4, king e4, king c4. f5. Alright. Yeah, because sometimes I start thinking and then I forget about the time. I play like it's a classical game and I shouldn't. Oh my god. Four, four knights, really? Alexei should have played this against me. I was very unhappy because white has absolutely nothing. In fact, I thought uh, white was worse. So it was a draw in his game, but I was suffering with white. I should have grabbed this bishop, and white has the the ruined pawn structure. The ruins of the pawn structure are unforgettable. So the question is what to do with the bishop, right? So 97 looks reasonable. Put this knight to work. Work, Arbeiten. It's not disdain, it's just that it's like so freaking drawish. It's like whatever you do is always a draw or something like that. My god, I'm so sleepy. Yeah, pawns on the white colors, thank you. Thank you for putting your pawns on the light squares. Good. Good for me. I'll be attacking those pawns sometime later. Only question is what I'm gonna do with my king, right? There is to be a decided question. Yeah, even despite all that, white's white setup is so freaking solid. Yeah, he has no weaknesses. He just is so freaking solid.
Let us see if I can scare him. Use some scare tactics. Good old scare tactics, right? That b5 break. It should not work, but who knows? Maybe he will get scared. Is the pawn really hanging? I don't know, we'll find out. 97. Guess we'll find out. tricked him in the end but okay I think I should I should decide to bet in the end so let's see I don't like the my 97 to be honest but the computer thinks it's okay yeah computer thinks it's okay I should probably go for b5 instead of a5, right? So b6, prepare that b5, b4. Yeah, that's probably better. a5, I mean, it's sound, but it gives him a solid queen side, which I didn't like. Oh, I missed a4, my god. A4, of course. Not good. And what is this A4 now? There is no A4. There is A4. Is Knight of Fates really that bad? And again, A4. I guess it's, it's important to actually um, separate his pawns, yeah? So that we get the very nice uh, open line. Oh, queen e8, beautiful. And then queen joins the attack, of course. Well, it's uh, only 1.10, it's not that much. Yeah, okay, so knight b6 is the first line, knight e3. Yeah, knight e4, yeah. Because you attack the pawn and you attack the knight, right? So you win the pawn. That's probably better. It was just a cheapo. I knew he's gonna miss this, but obviously he could have played king c1 or something. Then we're gonna go onto this line, right? And you can grab because if knight takes, rook takes e2. So black is still better. Yeah, it's still better for black. Not a bad game, to be honest.
Окей. Okay. В Москве дожди, солнечная погода. Гарфу какао, да, солнечный вынидис. What? Um... Дрожь позвешен, winning for Garen. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't know, guys. I'm very sleepy. I'm very sleepy. And I played already that tournament before. So I'm very, very sleepy. I'm surprised that I have 4 out of 4. But so do you. See how many people have 4 out of 4? <laughs> 20. All right. Like 30 people have 4 out of 4. Grishuk did make a draw, yeah? And Draken also made a draw. Anish on YouTube. Peter Swidler is 4. Where is Nakamura? Nakamura! Okay, 5B is 4 out of 4, 5B is playing, that's nice. Firuza is 4 out of 4, of course. So... Okay, there should be some games, alright. Oh, there is, a, there, there is a break now. There is a break after round 4 usually. There is an FM. Along with us, Jose Herrera. My God, look at the look at all these guys' names. This is like, like the tournament. Get a shot of coffee. Uh, I should get the get just get some chocolate. Let me get some chocolate, guys. Be be right back. Были, но сейчас нету. This is Samsung. This is my phone. This is not a smartphone, okay? This is basically good old phone. And it's cheap. I don't use smartphones. I'm too old for the smartphone. You guys remember the movie, The Wall Street? Remember the first? That was a classic, right? With the with with Kirk Douglas, right? And then there was the continuation, the sequel to that movie. Remember, uh, he walks out of the prison. He pick up, he picks up the huge phone from the from the eighties, right? Yeah. So that was kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Very strong tournament. 34 people. 32. 4 out of 4. Wow. Mm hmm. Tomaszewski is playing. Cool. What the hell is Legend Unknown? Alright. 
a quick trivia question how many of you guys remember the fantasy book series called the spell singer raise your hand those were awesome mm. oh my god come on guys The one and only spell singer. Yeah. Highly recommended, guys. Who is transported from our world into the land of talking animals and magic. This is a fantastic book. Alright. Hmm. I misclicked it. Yeah. Yeah, this books. That's awesome. What I'm reading right now. So, guys, I recommend you the Well World series and the Kintaro Marathon. Those are good. I didn't read this 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 uh, series, and it was just not enough time. But these are old, yeah. Sounds like Narnia. No, it's adult Narnia. All right. There's actually a lot of language, which is not for kids. It's basically like, uh, like a Hul um, a Gulliver's book, yeah. Uh, Smith. It's uh, you take uh, you take people into another world, bring different characters. Basically, it's a satire about the modern world. Not a satire, but it's most like discussion. That's what it is. All right. Is the break over? Yeah, the break is over. Krim? All right, I never heard of this guy. He might have played in the Russian premiere tournament but I don't know I think black is fine, yeah. I always misplay this line. I think white is okay though too. If I play 9g5, then what? What is the move? The hell is f6, man? You don't play f6 unless your bishop is on d7 or somewhere.
Fine, I'll play Quincy one. Should I? I don't know. Hmm. Hopefully I'm not blundering anything. Right, let's put the bishop back. He's really pushing it, yeah. All right, I should go just for B4, man. That's getting ridiculous. On oh, ninety one, F3, and Knight F2, something just play normal chess. Whatever I'm doing is not normal. I gave him so freaking much. My god. I gave him too much. Queen goes to h8, my god. Oh, come on, fuck. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, man. Such a cheapo, man. Freaking cheapos. Oh my God. Should Quincy to check, my god.
Ну, некрасиво очень. С его стороны, конечно, блин. Такой чип. Булшит делать. I'm sorry, but this is bullshit. I mean, I did blunder, but still, this is complete bullshit from this guy. This is just bullshit. No, he didn't shit, but he just played, he just gave up the rook, and then he gave, he, he was rook and bishop down, and then he made the check, and I pre-moved uh, basically king of one, because I thought he's gonna give me check on b2, right, and then he, he, he took my queen because he put the queen under attack of my queen, right, I mean, look at this bullshit, he can just basically resign, king g3, whatever, and then he plays queen c2, I thought he's gonna play queen b2 and resign, he plays queen c2 and he... And of course, I have the queen c2, he resigns, right? But, my god. Christ, man. <sighs> Such bullshit. Only in Blitz this shit happens. Alright, let's check it out, because I was winning... And then he started playing really well, and I messed up somewhere. All right, so knight g4. All right, so this is clearly winning. I can take I can take the a7 pawn, which I didn't for some reason. H5. Of course, I should have played f3 here, and put. And now my bishop can get to e6, right? I don't know, I kind of relaxed too much because I thought I'm gonna win this game automatically. And then I started playing second rate moves. Again, f3, rook b1 sucks, knight d5. Again, f3, just trade the bishop, take the pawn on a6, win the game. My god.
and that's how you just draw with white. Just basically play the stupid system with g4 and go for a draw. That's correct. I think white is might be better actually here. Be might actually be better. Yeah, I don't like this bishop of d6. Knight should be here. It should be knight here. This is not pleasant position. You're correct. This is not a good position for me. Yeah, but I'm not playing well. After the last game, disaster is just so freaking frustrating. This is so frustrating. Jesus Christ, this guy's playing for a win. Yeah, he's much better at the end.
I want to see his accuracy level. 86. I don't know, he didn't make any serious mistakes. Okay, c6 should be played, yeah. c6, a6, b5, bishop b7, maybe. And then h6, bishop f6, right? Yeah, this is bad move. Now white is just better. Yeah, I got really, really pissed off about last game. Now c6, and then knight goes to d4. That's the plan. Maybe. Yeah, this is a okay. White is still better. It's, I don't like this. B three, queen B eight. The knight goes to a B six. Yeah. That's equal. All right. This is how you equalize. Yeah, taking with this pawn was optimistic. I thought I was gonna get the square, but instead I weakened my e5 pawn and now white is better. So if I play the a4, then it's just equal, yeah? Why c6? Why not just take this? Take and c6 here. Yeah, but this looks very complicated. I think white is better. Yeah, white is better here. Yeah, because, you know, the square is not, not good enough because this pawn is weak and the knight, you transfer the knight correctly. I think c6 was probably better. And then just go for trade here. That is way more active defense. Because this is clearly equal. Although he can go for b4 here, yeah. Yeah, still unpleasant position. See what happens when you weaken the e5 pawn? That's what happens. Alright, so what happened in the game? I got killed here. All right, the evaluation here is white is much better, yeah. Queen b7, of course, is stronger. Instead of this move, bishop c8. Queen b4. Bishop b5, knight b5, bishop b2. Bishop f8, of course, should have been played. Followed by bishop d6. Yeah, it's still much better for white. Yeah, I got really lucky that he offered the draw. This was a trap that if he takes on b8, knight f3 check, of course, but he takes here. Obviously. Plays rook a7, and black is probably lost. Probably very much lost. Not here. Bishop b2, bishop b5. And this is losing because this pawn is queening. Alright, surprisingly another strong GM. Not a GM, even FM. Yeah, this game he played like a GM though. So nothing. Well, he says he's a champion. Um, можно одно слово по-русски, да, можно. Hi guys, what's up?
that's what you want to do with weight that's how you pressure that's how you put pressure on your opponent so he did everything correctly Giri flag Dubov that's fine Yeah, but there is one second increment. You can't really flag anybody here. But I can't believe I blundered the queen like that. Queen c2 check. Just take the freaking queen, right? The guy resigns. Yeah. Yeah, but... I think even after I gave him a queen, I think it was still a draw, to be honest. I think it's perpetual. Um, that's what I'm thinking about, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what he is thinking, but... Alright, let the game run, and then I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I was thinking about. Woo! Well. Oh, Dubov uses trackpad? No. <laughs> I don't have Nightmare for years from this game. I have Nightmare for years uh, from Tapalov's game. The game number 8 where I could have won, but I mixed the move order and I blundered. That game was plaguing me, because if I had won that game, the match would be equal, and I had white in the 8th game, and then I might have beaten Tapalov and played the match for the World Chess Championship against uh, Anand. But instead, I blundered to Topalov in the 8th game. Now, that, that game, play, uh, that game was, I had nightmares for at least like 5-6 years after that. And then, of course, that game against Gelfand, where I saw Bishop takes up 7, making a draw, which would qualify me for the final candidates match against Grishuk in Kazan 2011. So those two big blunders, they cost me everything, basically. In terms of chess, of course. Thank God chess is not everything, but... Uh, yeah, I can't believe this guy. Alright, let's see, because I, I got... Alright, so check, right? King e3, queen f5. I was thinking about bishop h3 here. And then there is a check, right? And he has to go on the h file. That's the only thing he can do. And then I can play rook h1 back. And then check again. So basically, see the computer doesn't know what he is doing. He is he is playing queen c3, queen f2, queen d4. Ah, correct. And now he plays king g6 or king g7. Right, because I don't have checks anymore, right? Alright, so this is winning, okay. Yeah. Alright, so this is winning. That was a nice trick though, right? It was a nice trick. Anyway. Yeah, of course it's lost, but... Yeah, when he played this, I think I was thinking, why not the way... Uh, maybe I should just play king g3. And then he plays queen c2 anyway, right? I mean, still lost, but... Um... I think, why not grab the rook, because my king escapes, I expected queen b2 check and resignation, instead he gives me queen c2 check and then out. And then to my horror, I realized that it's queen c2, not queen b2, and he grabs my f queen. Yeah. Still, it, it, this is kind of really bad, uh, bad, uh, bad etiquette from my opponents. To be honest, that is really bad etiquette. 
especially he is an IM, right? He's playing a Grandmaster and he is playing for this stupid trick. This is really bad manners, man. I know I shouldn't have blundered it, but still. That's the kind of position is that that's where you resign. I mean, you grab the point, but what it cost you, man? You have no respect for me at all. Anish on YouTube, continuing the rampage. Fabiano also is there. And Fabiano is kicking ass, I think, yeah. But he's not much better. Oh, somebody plays uh, King's Indian against the Fabiano. Oh, I know this guy. Right, okay, this is interesting, actually. Ha <laughs> Okay. But this is beautiful, yeah? Knight g4 first. And what happened here? Oh, come on. Bishop takes c3, man. Come on. He didn't see f4, guys. He didn't see f4. He didn't see that... Um, this is winning now. He didn't see f4 move, and then gf4 is impossible because of rook b3. And if you don't grab that pawn, that pawn goes to f3, f2. Alright, so this is how the computer draws this. That was a draw. But this guy didn't see it. Drama. Chess drummer. Yeah, now I can resign. And let's see, Anish. The Kardashian. He plays Borsch. What the hell is Borsch? I like that nickname though. Ah, Matlakov. He's on fire. Who else we're gonna see? Andrekin versus Aryan. Oh, Artemyev and Grishuk. No, I don't wanna see Vidit. Sorry, I don't wanna see this game. I wanna see Grishuk game. Ooh. Grishuk is better, but it, it is a fight, yeah? Check, rook g8. What the hell is queen d4, man? What the hell is queen d4? You should be playing rook g8 automatically, attacking. This is just lost. Rook c8, very good technique by Grishuk. This is lost. My god. Yeah, but this is still lost. Still lost. Now this is definitely lost. Because the knight takes away this key square. Knight goes takes on b7 and black can resign. Good job. Good job by Grishuk. And who else we have? Where is Nakamura game? My god. Besides, where is Nakamura? Paparin, Kuryakin. Oh, Nakamura. Alright, let's see. He is... Oh, I'm next to the Nakamura. Cool. Oh, he beat this Bukowski guy, but he lost to Exotic Princess. Wait a minute. Did my game just start? What the hell happened here? Queen d3, kind of really bad move. Queen c6 is, uh, you cannot allow queen c6. Yeah, take and king g1. Probably draw, but after this, yeah. Beautiful play by black. Beautiful tactics. Alright, impressive. We are from George. Oh, Jababa. Jababa, of course. Jababa. I don't want to 
don't play Naka. I hate playing Naka. Because he's just going to flag me. I mean... But at least I'm in a good company, right? I'm with the great uh, Peter Swidler, Nakamura, uh, Fandorin, Elianov there, Chaos. So I'm in a quite August company with my 5.5 out of 7. It's not bad. Alright. Peter is also streaming. Good. We're gonna rate. Yeah, but he's gonna probably stop streaming after, after the tournament. You know, guys, I realized why I'm not playing so well today because um, my supporter is not home, and I'm feeling uh, less powerful. See, carries in the esports, carries require supports, right? And my wife is supporter, and I'm trying to carry our team. <laughs> I don't know where I'm carrying our team, but I am I'm 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 trying to carry somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So So you guys whenever you see significant others, thank them for being great supporters and that you're trying to be a carry and carry your team, all right? To victory. All right. So it's probably today is the homage for our supporters, significant others who support us in our difficult journey across the chess uh, universe, right? All right. Ну у неё всё-таки тоже есть какая-то карьера, свои дела. Вот я очень хочу, чтобы она продолжала тоже заниматься своим направлением, которое её интересует. I mean, Okay, кстати, the chocolate had weed in it, no cookies. My support is missing in action. Oh, no, не касаемся личной жизни моей жены. Twitch chat is also a supporter, but this is different. You guys are supporters. You are more like patrons, or you are like more, you know really great uh, supporters but also yeah i agree of course yes but you are supporters yeah but she's the main supporter uh. oh we have a break after round seven у вас уже город но у нас открылись очень много наконец этих студий она мне очень такая артистичная и надеюсь у нее получится с этим всем в москве все отменили do you have a son Yes, I have actually three sons. I have no clue what happens to them all. I'm a terrible father, but I think it's good if the if 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 my sons are staying away from me because I yeah I have a lot of my father in me, a lot of potential to damage people. So huge potential for damaging people. Unfortunately. There were some episodes in my life that scared the hell out of me. I mean, in in terms of how much I am my father and how damage, how much damage he did to me, and then I realized how much damage I can do to my kids. So, I'm staying away from kids. All right. Uh, Do I play the violin? I don't play violin at all. I never played violin. I played some piano when I was six to eight, and then uh, that's it, man. Never played piano later at all. It doesn't seem. Yeah, yeah I can do. Uh, I can do damage, especially in those moments when I lose control, when I get angry. Those are the moments when I lose control. All right, and that, that, that. And again, there were some episodes in my life. I, I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, the, that I lost control, I got angry, and I lost control, and 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 things didn't, things went pretty bad. So, uh, you know, you know, there is a saying that there could be, you know, a lot of happy moments, but then one really one, it takes just one really bad moment to ruin absolutely something or someone's life. All right. You can do a lot of good things, but then just one rash moment, you can destroy anything. Again, 
In, in Russian it says the ложка дегтя может испортить бочку с медом, правильно? I, I don't know what's like in English. Um, there's a little something can spoil the whole bunch of everything. What is it? Is there? Um, no, uh, well, the problem was that uh, the kid was, uh, he had a huge temperament. He went to my father, very independent. He never listened. So, you know, he never listens wherever he wanted to try to do his force his own ways on me, right? Little kid. So, you know, I said, okay, good, good job. Uh, try, let's see what, 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 what do you make of it? So I'm not talking to him. All right. Rotten apples. One bad apple spoils the whole bunch. Correct. One move to ruin it all. Just like chess. That is true. Exactly, guys. Chess is perfect imitation. Right? You've been gathering those small advantages. You've been outplaying your opponent the whole game. But then you spend so much time that in one move, you spoil it all. Just again, like again, that uh, eighth game, uh, seventh game against Tapalov, right? I was burning all my time, but I playing the first second line moves but in the end I had about uh, two seconds to make the last uh, three or four moves I think it was four moves and he set me a trap which which was not obvious I couldn't understand what is the difference if I play rook b8 first or a4 first right and uh, and in that uh, in those three seconds uh, they they basically cost me the whole match And the, all the previous work that I've done in the game, it was ruined. Nobody cares about the previous um, work that they do in the game. It's uh, the result that counts in chess, unfortunately, because it's like any other sport, right? I mean, in a critical match, like boxing, world chess, uh, world in a, in a match, right? Nobody cares. If you, uh, what is this move? Knight b5, my god, I haven't... People are playing all this stuff against me, it's crazy. Christ. What is this? What is this? Queen e5, knight d2, I guess. And if I play queen d8... Back... There is some theory here. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure there is a lot of theory here. I just cannot remember. If, I can't remember it anything. Alright, and if I just give you this freaking pawn. Oh, there's 97 check. Is there? Oh, queen f4 is coming, right? Queen f4 is coming. And is it so bad? So if I play g6. Queen f4, d6, okay, bishop c4. See, I told you it's like, it looks like theory, right? Knight e5. Castles. Hmm. What the hell is going on here? So if I play queen e7, knight c3, he is planning to play knight d5, c6, knight d6, queen d6, bishop f7, king e7, rook d1, pretty sure, queen f6, or bishop g8, and rook d1, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think I misplayed it, yeah. Unfortunately, I misplayed it. I do not remember this theory. I do not remember this theory. I think g5 is important. It could be important. And then c6, yeah. I mean g5 is important because there is no queen h4 check or queen g5 check. Oh, bishop f7. 
that I didn't see. My god, I think I'm lost now. Yeah. I think I'm just lost after that move. Yeah, people are surprising me with all these crazy lines. I have no freaking clue. Hmm. So, 25, then 92, that's advantage to white, yeah? Any other moves? No, I have to take this. King d8, knight c3, white is much better, so I play this, queen g4, oh, king f8. Alright, king f8, that move I don't know. Yeah, okay. Because then you go for the same thing, right? Yeah, but this looks pretty scary for black. See, white is doing fine here. 
I don't like this position. So I need to think how to play this position in the future, because g6, see, it's a huge advantage for white's already plus one. It's plus one. So king of eight, d4. I mean, okay, maybe. Maybe king of eight. Queen of four. D6, knight c3, knight e5, castles. Then bishop d7, probably, knight e4, and then you can just play knight e7, but white gets like free attack, right? On this king. Open file. Knight e5. This knight is strong, though, but I don't like this position. So what did I do? I played g6, queen f4, castles, I had to play f6, yeah. Yeah, bishop f7 just kills me. Yeah. Then knight d6. Yeah, knight a4 was much faster, but he played queen d2. Why I didn't play g4 here? Very strange. I should have played just g4. I went for the, some crazy knight g3 rook f8 idea. Yeah. g4, just go for the king. For the freaking king. Just go for the king. b6. Knight takes. Rook a4, then queen c5. Yeah. I mean, it's not obvious, right? Yeah, so not that great game for me. No, it's it's not reportable actually. He probably analyzed this line really well and um, he caught me in the line. All right, that is the home prep. That is the home prep, guys. That is the home cooked line. Yeah, I haven't seen that line in a long time. All right, so we're gonna try again our luck with bishop d3. See how that works out. Uh, was it c4, queen b1 here. It was c4. Just going for the positional compensation, nothing special.
That's kind of strange play from Black. Yeah, he went really passive. I mean, if you don't know what to do, just give up the pawn, develop pieces, right? This is very strange play from my opponent. Very, very strange. But okay, maybe it works. I don't know. Um, if I just move my knight away. Like that. I don't know, this looks... doesn't look good for him. Doesn't look good for you, man. Yeah, that queen c6, queen d7, definitely not what you want to do. I think that's it, yeah. Oh, that was round nine. Well, if you played with 95% uh, the last 10 games, that is suspicious, correct. Especially for the FM. Yes, that is suspicious. FM doesn't play that consistently. Hmm. This MFC read guy, yeah. There's also this guy who tricked me with queen c2 check. I want to see his um, what happened in his other games. He beat another grandmaster. 
and then he lost to an IM. Let's see how he beat the Grandmaster. MSB is pretty strong Grandmaster, by the way. Well, he plays the first line, basically. He plays the first line moves. Yeah, okay, this is definitely, definitely not for the, not for the mild of heart to get to play knight d4 and go willingly for that bishop b7. Ah, king h7, queen d3, and then what? And then f3. Yeah, but this is mate, yeah. All right, who again was this? He had a blitz rating of 2500. Ilya Derebin. All right. From Krim, yeah. And he beat the 2800 level player. He beat 2800 rated player. He lost to 2800. Then he beat another 2800 level GM. Um, and then he beat the 2700 GM. I would say that pretty much a lot of grounds for investigation for this guy. This guy will be investigated. I'm pretty sure he will be investigated. You're amazed the title players actually cheat? Are you, are, are you really new? Because um, the number of accounts, title accounts being closed on chess.com has actually increased over the last several months. I mean, compare the reports from last year, from, I don't know, February, March, right? And compare them to what happened in May and June. Title players banned increased and i would say dramatically all right um last week a gm got banned mid-game yes we heard about that uh Nederbeck, yeah i think that was actually wrong ban because i think that gm he actually played in the World Blitz Championship last year in um, in Moscow, and he did and he did well. So I'm not sure whether they had grounds for that, because Nakamura lost the game. Uh, I mean that guy is strong by himself. I mean they have to have pretty strong evidence to ban that GM because that was a strong GM. I know that GM. Uh, I mean I, I I played against that guy, and he's very strong, right? And he actually almost beat Magnus, I think, in the World Championship. So I have no idea how they will defend their decision to ban that GM, all right? Corano will win. He needs to win. He needs to practice. He needs to get uh, into good blitz shape before he can beat Magnus. Or he's going to lose miserably like last time. On tie breaks, right? Remember that the rapid tie breaks? He lost to Magnus on tie breaks, the World Chess Championship match, which of course was very sad, right? World Chess Championship match decided on tie breaks and rapid games. That was bullshit. I mean, you should then call this World Rapid Chess Championship match and not the World Classical Chess Championship. But this life, there has to be tie break eventually at some point, right? They gotta be tie break at some point. They gotta be, otherwise um, people can play forever. All right, let's let's break this thing. Let us break this thing.
I have to play h5, of course. You gotta play h5. Because white did not play correctly this. Where is this guy from? From Chile. Alright. We have a very chilled out dude. G5 looks correct. Knight h7. And then basically just castle or f6 first. Probably castle. I'm gonna go for f6 some point. Or f5 actually, yeah. I don't know, I think I should have played f6 immediately. Yeah, before castling. f3. Okay. So f6, knight h5, then g6. What is that position? f5, rook g1, bishop g5. Hmm. And it looks like a total mess to me. So let's play queen e8. We're sort of threatening b5 at the same time. Right? But we're also looking at f5 now. Because queen protects this diagonal. And now we play f6. Because there is no knight h5 anymore. Right? If you played f6 immediately, then there was knight h5, g6. Of course, maybe I should have played b5 and b4. I mean, that's also feasible. But uh, the main idea is you really need to... you th These pieces were really bad. And pieces need to... Uh, breathing room. All right. My God, I, 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 I'm starting to speak like some, some, I don't know, dude. And if long castle, then finally play b5. We have to play b5. We have to start aggression here to show this king that he is not safe e, e here as well. Oh, okay. So he plays that. So if queen d8 back. See, little queen movements, right? Preparing and defending h5 pawn and now we're defending a5 pawn. So this is at round number 10, right? I don't know about this knight d1 move. Look, looks kind of weird. I would have played like long castle, rook dg1 and go for an attack or something. That's what I would play. Bishop g5, my god. Really? This is very strange. Dude. Knight c4? I don't know, I can play b5, right? There's no need to rush. No need to rush. I mean, bishop h4 is probably winning, but king f2, okay. Now he wants to take and play rook somewhere, but if I play h4, then did he just blunder 94, man? Yeah, I think he blundered 94. All right, that was a really, really bad game by my opponent. See, this guy is I am 2700 rated player, but he played really badly. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the super fan beat Borsch, another 2800. Really? Okay. He no longer streams. That's good. Um, we'll have to create a new title, Super Fido Master. Yes. Um, all right, let's actually analyze if I played it correctly. Yeah, I mean, uh, whenever I, when I play, yeah, th this, this is interesting position. He played knight g3, which is first line. But after cd5, he took with this pawn and then it's equal. Yeah, he should have taken with the e pawn, but... It's still, see, 70% accuracy from IM is normal. Is normal. 
Rook c8, Queen d2, I didn't like. I think he should have played g5. See g5 with the first line because you prevent h5 and you attack my knight. All right? Because after h5, uh, g5 here, h4, I play first, I play first line, a castle, he plays bishop e2. Yeah, this was bad move. He should have played bishop e2, of course. And uh, see, the computer says I should have played f6 immediately and not worry about knight h5 because because of this line, right? But I wasn't sure, guys. You know, I I I, I didn't buy it. I think I think this. I was worried about taking on f5, then taking on c5, and then bishop d3. But of course, the computer plays e4, and he says everything is swell. Don't worry about it, man. Right? But I mean, to a human, how winning is this position? Right? How winning is this with the black king so open? You're down a pawn, right? And you have to figure out this rook f3 move. I mean, this is not simple. This is not human chess. So that's the reason why I didn't play it. That's the reason why I played queen e8. And the computer now understands this is not a bad move. Rook, bishop e2, and now f6. See, there is no, 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 uh, just positional chess. Knight d1 and queen d8, second line. Boom. Yeah, so as I was saying, he should have probably castle here. And then, of course, I play b5. Ah, he has no time because uh, knight is trapped, right? So this is, not, this is why queen e8 is so powerful. Serves two functions at the same time. Prepares b5 and protects the h5 pawn for the potential of 6. All right, so that's how you play King's Indian. Try to make multi-purpose moves, right? And um, be happy. So this was um, round number 10, and um, Nakamura is actually might qualify for the... Yeah, I think he qualified, yeah? He, yeah, he barely qualifies, just like last time. Uh, where was this guy who killed me? Oh. This McFeard guy, yeah? Haha. <laughs> so he actually shared. He shared with these guys. He shared with these guys, yeah? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get investigated. He will get investigated. 85% accuracy, 95% accuracy, 96% accuracy against another GM. Really? Seriously? Yeah, he's a, he's a mega, mega FM then. He's mega FM. Both are 96% accuracy, but expecting 96% accuracy from the GM is normal. While expecting it from the IM is not normal. T4, I think it's early. Knight of three is kind of weird. Bishop b7. Scary, but decent. Queen e7. Second line. Second line again. First line. No, third line. Doesn't matter. 94 and it's game over, yeah. Yeah, it's so easy to play when you have a computer. 92, first line. I mean, the, he, he, he doesn't hesitate, right, to play first line moves. So, Fabiano, oh, Nakamura is actually second on tiebreak. Interesting. But this FM guy is number six. He should be in the... Um, he should be among the qualifiers. All right. Now he will be asked to join the Zoom channel with the camera on. Uh, and this is going to be interesting. He, 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 no, he doesn't have to stream. He just has to be, he has to be online on the webcam. Mr. Mef Kirid. Yeah. Yeah, I actually qualified once, but they have this really stupid uh, structure, which is why I lost all the 
all the interest in qualifying except that you get hundred dollars for qualifying for the last place uh, what happens is that you play one game not two games it's a knockout form format you play one game it's 3-1 and if it is a draw then you immediately play tiebreaker which is a bullet with no increments no increment bullets my god it's ridiculous remember so i i played first game uh i played against feather safe it was a draw and then i played bullet against him and again i was playing black so i realized there is uh, the system is absolutely stupid yeah it's really dumb system i i don't get it whoever came up with the system they should be you know upgrading it because uh, the way they are doing it right now is just not not normal i mean you have the whole tournament guys playing three plus one right the the, the the purpose of this is to avoid flagging to improve chess quality and then you play only one game you don't give a to you don't give a second player a chance to play white color yeah and you instead you make him play bullet with no increment it defeats the purpose of this whole 3.1 tournament right so that's it all right he's not a kid he never played so well all right he, i never seen him play so well this is the only time he started uh, beating all the super grandmasters in the tournament the the people just don't improve like that i mean he is playing at the gm level and he is only a feeder master which is not even i am all right i don't care i don't care whatever excuse uh, they have or he has uh, there is something fishy is going on so i call him suspicious character i blocked him and that's it all right guys i'm very tired i've been playing since like uh, 4 p.m in one tournament and now i'm playing uh, i played in this tournament so i was streaming basically for five hours all right it's actually 2258 feeder exactly 2258 feeder beating grandmasters with 96 point percent accuracy right right sure right so that's the problem with these online tournaments okay that is the problem all right guys so uh um yeah actually i played parham he is a great blitz player he also made mistakes against me right i played him uh, many times on lee chess on chess.com we had some great fighting games but it goes both ways right he makes mistakes i make mistakes but this guy he's uh, fm he doesn't make mistakes all right so guys let's uh, let's trade somebody hopefully they're gonna uh, gonna stream for a while and let's see who we can raid um well i recommend swiddler but i think i suspect he is uh, finishing his stream as well i suspect he is finishing his stream well he's still playing game though yeah yeah but let's let's raid peter again because he is the colleague yeah, he is my generation. We grew up in the same city. Yeah, let's right. The Siedler is, is absolutely greatest, all right? He is... Uh, I would say that we share about the same common approach to chess and understanding, right? We're about the same level. Super fam. <laughs> I met the super fam. What do you want? I, I played some of them. Some of them do come back. All right. Um.
super FM, so if I understand the name. Super FM in the top eight? Um, okay, let me check. Super FM in the top eight is M M F Sirid and six thirty one. Christopher Guzman from Dominican Republic. Very strong. Well played to him. I wish him all the best in the town. Is there going to be a regular fishing game? There has been a reason to make a supply of games, I think. Okay. Streaming a decent amount. It's a positive 75%. 